Hi, my name is Tim and thank you for watching this small tutorial on how to set up a performance test for GeoServer using Apache JMeter. Among other things, the latest version of GeoServer claims to have improved performance for Geo packages. And I was interested in testing that against an older version of GeoServer currently in our production environment. So in short, if you're unfamiliar with a Geo package, it's a small a lightweight SQLite database containing all your spatial and some non-spatial data. So it's just a one file on your file system and you can easily copy it between environments. Hopefully you're already familiar in how to install and run a GeoServer. I'm only going to show you how I configured two instances of GeoServer in different versions on different ports. Uh, in those GeoService instances, I've configured a Geo package data source uh, using the config page. Then I'll show you how I set up a test plan in Yameter and then how to run it against uh, each of the versions of GeoServer. So if you want more information on the Geo package, you can just go to their website, geopackage.org. And if you want to download Apache JMeter, you can just go to their website, jmeter.apache.org. So the older version of GeoServer, in this case version 2.12.2, I'm running on port 2122, which you can easily configure uh, when you're installing GeoServer. I did the same thing for the latest version, version 2.14.0. And I'm running that localhost on port 2140. So using sources, I've configured a geo package and it looks like this. So this is the old version 2122. And this is the latest version, version 2.14.1 running on port 2140. So that's my setup and both GeoServer instances are running on different ports. So now we can set up the test. So I've already opened the test plan and I'm gonna show you what I've done. So whenever you want to add an item to the test plan, you can just right click on test plan and choose add. So firstly, what I've done is added a HTTP request default, which is in the right click menu. And I specified the server name as localhost and a port number, namely 2140, which is the latest version of GeoServer currently running in the background. Um, also, very conveniently, in the HTTP request defaults, you can also specify some parameters. For instance, my get map and version and the geo package name, in my case, BGT in workspace BGT. Well, I've added three thread groups. So by right clicking test plan, you can add a test group a thread group, sorry. And in this thread group, you can specify the number of users. So firstly, I'm gonna test with one user doing get map calls. Then later, we're gonna do two users, which will then try simultaneously to get map requests. And then lastly, I'm gonna do four users simultaneously trying to get get maps. One thing to then select here is run thread groups consecutively. That's important for your performance test. We'll get to that later. So for the first thread group, I've added a loop controller. And this loop controller gives us a loop of 100 times this thread group. So it's gonna do the thread group with one user 100 times. So in this loop controller, we're gonna do a right click and then add an HTTP request. So I've named this one just to be clear. Uh, and because we already have some default HTTP requests specified, we don't have to enter a server name and more specifically a port number. So we've conf configured that in the uh, default here. So the only parameters we actually have to add is a path and uh, three items, namely the bounding box, the width and the height of the image. For that, I've used the CSV dataset config item. And I specified the file name here. I'm just gonna quickly show you how this file looks. So it is width, height, 
and a bounding box. And on the next row, again, it's a width, height, and a bounding box. Okay. And this, this file specifies more than 100 bounding boxes, uh, and those are uh, our CSV uh, configuration, configuration items. Sorry. So the same strategy is followed for the thread group 2, having two users. So there's a loop controller, but it's going to do less loops because there's more users simultaneously trying to get to get map. There's an HTTP request, which also uses the default HTTP settings. So we don't specify a server name or port number, only the bounding box width and the height. And again, we're going to use the same CSV data file to um, yeah, load bounding boxes. So this loop controller, will iterate through these CSV files. And then the third time we've done it for uh, four consecutive users. So after that, we clicked, uh, right clicked on test plan and added a summary report, a graph result, and a results tree. Well, I'm just gonna clear the results of the last test. Okay. I'm gonna select the summary report and I'm gonna press play. And you'll see that label one, which is our first track group, is going to do all these calls. And it's going to select some parameters and some, um, yeah, some information on the throughput time. So if you want to see how that looks, I can go to our result tree. And if I see response date, you can see that it's all these get maps on different bounding boxes, so different areas of the map and it's just gonna do that a hundred times so when it's finished doing this a hundred times it will start the second thread group because we specified in our test plan that the thread groups are run consecutively so one at a time so if we now go to our summary report it's almost finished you can see it's at a hundred now it's gonna do the second one so two uh, simulated users are going to do get map requests and then we're going to see again what the performance is. Well, while this is running, obviously I've already done this for the latest version and also the older version. And indeed I have seen performance improvements for the latest version compared to the older version using this test. So I'm not saying this is a, a full proper test, I think this will give you a good um, indication on the performance difference. So we now see a throughput of 1.7 per second. So 1.7 requests per second. And using more users, it even improves. Um, if I would compare this to my results for the version 2.12.2 of GeoServer, then these values will be much lower. But because we use the same bounding boxes and the same request setup, the average bytes are the same. So that's why you can compare these properly. Well, I wanted to conclude my video here and I really hope that this was useful to you. And if you have any questions or remarks, I would happily um, uh, see them and uh, also get back to you. Well, thank you for your time and hopefully this was useful for you. Thank you.